What's up guys? Baker here. I am back. And um, today I have a tutorial on recursive keying. And um, I honestly don't know if that's a real term or not. I kind of just made that off the top of my head because I don't know what to call this. And um, you'll see why I picked that title in a second. But um, here's just a quick example of what I'm going to do. Here's uh, You can see a nice sky replacement and uh, some pretty nice keying going on. And um, what this is about is um, keying that you can't really use, like normally, like a color key or a luma key or something. And uh, I'll show you real quick. I uh, kind of came up with this technique helping one of my friends, uh, Miss SoCal Savage, and um, it's pretty sweet. So um, um, you can't really use a color key here because you know there's lots of different colors. There's blue and there's whites and you know, it would just be a hassle to uh, key this. And it would be a hassle to try to mask every single frame and get this all, you know, nice and sharp. And uh, it would just be terrible doing it by hand. So, what I came up with is this. First, we're going to have our layer. We're going to call this the um, background layer. Background, yeah, layer. And what I'm going to do is first just take the pen tool and mask out the window that I don't want. And I'm not going to worry about this little building because then it would show part of the glass and I don't want any of that. So I'll just kind of mask that out. Push M, set this to subtract. And then I'll use the pen tool again and then just mask the uh, other window. Just going on up here. And uh, I'm doing this because this is a static camera so I can just mask it and just leave it and um, looks like I need to fix a few of the points so uh, just make sure this looks pretty pretty nice if you need to you can push MM and you can see for this back window we can kinda see this edge back here so just go ahead and use the expansion and expand it a little bit so maybe two maybe three pixels to um, uh, extend out and get rid of those gross edges okay so now we got rid of the windows but our guy is missing and uh, you can see it's cut out and we want to bring him back but we don't want to make a third mask and keyframe and stuff so um, let me just uh, take this space background put it back here kinda see what's going on so what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate our background layer rename this to uh, guy I guess and push M and delete the two masks so now we just get the regular clip again duplicate it one more time and call this the mat so what I'm gonna do is actually um, I noticed that the difference between the guy and the windows there's enough contrast to use a luma mat so that our regular clip will only show up in the dark part of the guy so let's go and try that real quick. I'll do, um, hide the background layer and the space background and go to the guy and you use Luma inverted. And you can see if I toggle the transparency, we have the guy pretty much soloed and then the background is uh, transparent. It's not all the way transparent. You can see that uh, there's some parts of the window still showing and the guy is actually a little bit transparent still. So we're what we're going to do now is if we turn on our matte layer, we can, oops, we can, um, I'll put on a tint to kind of show you what we're doing, because what we want to do is change this to pretty much black and white, and we want it all black for the guy, and then the um, windows to be all white, because the add-on needs to show up only in the dark parts. So we're going to add on some levels, drag that onto our matte layer, and increase the input black until we can crush all the blacks so this is solid black now lower the input white to make the windows as bright as you can and you can see almost all the windows gone so I'm gonna keep crushing it and about there looks good and maybe crush the black a little bit more until we get a perfect contrast black and white and you can scrub through and you can see the guy is completely black window is white so if I turn it back off the guy is now completely filled in and the window is gone. 
Now it doesn't matter that there's still like these pieces here because that's going to add on to our background layer and it won't make a difference. So if I turn this back on, there we go. We got a perfect king if we look. Looks pretty sharp. There's a little bit of weird gray edges and um, if, if that's really bugging you a lot, a quick way to fix that is take your mat and your guy, go to layer, pre-compose, move all attributes, doesn't matter what you call it, put on a simple choker and just choke it maybe one, maybe two pixels, you don't want to make it too too smooth because you start to lose a little bit of detail but the edge around the gun is a little bit less uh, subtle and um, yeah we get a perfect king using the layer itself not even like a real key or f an effect or plugin just a luma mat on itself but um, I think that's a very interesting technique Again, it won't work for every clip. It's got to be really contrasted between what you want to keep and what you want to take away. So I think that was pretty pretty sweet. Also with some uh, cool color correction, you can kind of uh, hide a little bit of the edge um, stuff. But anyways, that's, uh, that's the tutorial. Recursive King, I'm going to call it. And um, I really hope you enjoyed learning these... Uh, cool techniques even though it's not a specific effect or anything but um yeah go ahead and like favorite comment share whatever you want to do check me out on facebook and twitter for updates and cool previews and stuff and um yeah peace